stream always live. Alright, I guess who remembers what's happening? We just killed a giant weakened golem. Corpse Colossus. Uh, we are on our way towards um, what we believed to be a necromancer encampment at Belb. Killed our guardian. Bah, bah, bah. I'm sure we'll find out that we're the baddie somehow. Okay. Good enough, I guess. Um, Got anything else for us, boss? I'm asking you guys what you guys remember. If this is what you remember, that's fine. I mean, it was mostly a big combat last time. Yeah, we, we left the swamp, we left Anne to go home. Unknown and if she actually did or not. No, we, we saw did. her leave into the swamp, I think. Okay. Yeah, so you guys can uh, get back to your camp, finish out the long rest. And then the uh, sun rises on a dreary day. The ground still wet and, you know, soupy in places. See? But the day is yours to do with what you please. Val immediately starts packing up. Alright guys, let's not hang around the giant corpse thing for long. Are we still headed for Beld? Agreed. Don't really see any other option. Let's get going. Give it a good kick before we leave. It jumps you... to life and grabs you. <laughs> <laughs> the hand moves. Now, um... One of the corpse eyes opens and looks at you. <laughs> we kick it again. Really in trouble. The kicks yeah, start let's... coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> okay, now let's leave. <laughs> All the corpses in unison just and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> <laughs> As the Colossus rises once again. <laughs> One second thought. Let's not go to build. Tis a, tis a silly place. The corpses all skin. The whole thing, the whole corpse colossus rises, but each individual corpse is like bopping in unison. <laughs> Every time all right, it's time to go. <laughs> Every time one more of them says the line, they say it faster. <laughs> corpse colossus, but every time they say it and it does stop coming, they get faster. <laughs> At least it's not, I get knocked down. <laughs> oh no. That's terrible. You're never gonna keep us down. <laughs> it's their power song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the evil bard shows up. <laughs> that's his. That's his animate dead spell. I get knocked down. <laughs> And the corpses just start getting up and dancing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Okay, so anyway. <gasps> to Beld! Oh, we killing me. Alright. As we're as we're walking, uh Val's gonna pause it an idea. So I'm thinking about switching the spears, guys. <laughs> to which spear? Out of the spear. I don't know, but you know, think I'd look good with a spear instead of a sword. 
I don't know much about weapons. You don't gotta know much about weapons, you just gotta know about how cool it would look. I mean, yeah, I look awesome dragging these great swords around, but how cool would I look with spears instead? You would look so cool, all big, with a spear. Nothing could reach me, and I could reach everything. Saki so just <laughs> begins clapping. Mentally, I'm just imagining uh, <laughs> Val like getting something out of like the top of the cabinets, and being like, "Yes!" <laughs> just, just using the spear to get it down. <laughs> <laughs> Just your <laughs> spears a bag of flour, <laughs> pulls it down. I mean, swords are great, and I like smashing things with them. But sometimes I think, are swords meant for smashing? Well, speed you sharpen them. You no, can Jenny smash anything if you're brave enough. She she kind of looks. <laughs> At you when you ask if she sharpens them. Do I what? Do you have a whetstone on you? A what? Well, which side of the blade do you use when you when you're smashing? She shows the flat of the blade. <laughs> this is why she needs a spear. Val, no, just hit him with the pointy end. <laughs> This bow just fucking swings like a stab. I'm joking, guys. I know how to swing a sword, okay? Just starts bonking things with the speed. And I know about weapon upkeep. Come on, of course I have a whetstone. Okay. Just curious. But I'm really sad that you believed me for a second there. I've got a whetstone at another school. I don't know what that is. It's the Steve Carell <laughs> thing. Where he's like... He's like, they must think I'm an idiot, teehee. I, do you guys actually... Guys, I am your commander. Do you really think I'm that stupid? It's a whetstone. Nihilus refuses to answer. W would you like me to answer, commander? Razzy, I need you to be able to formulate opinions on your own. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Paladin, that's not what we do. <laughs> I follow orders. Yeah, listen and believe. Right, <laughs> certainly there's something in your doctrine about, you know, being your own person. That's Hell, you true, let a jailbreak once. My doctrine says that if it makes you happy, Val, you can be as stupid as you like. The blade slowly starts inching closer, <laughs> well, At least you're not going to smell it. Hey, oh, with no, the you spear, can... you better easy to uh, uh, reach Razzy. Al ponders this for a moment. It's like community service at that point. Why not both? Why not a sword and a spear? Why not just get uh, bigger split swords? Split focus? I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't understand weapons. Okay. Look, it's real easy, okay? This sword, and she holds up her greatsword, you know, with one arm, like she usually does. This is called a great sword, okay? Pretty Some great. people call it a pretty good sword. Yeah, just get a bigger one. I'm not capable of holding a bigger one in one hand yet. Yet, you say. Mouth. Yet, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Sire is gonna, like, perk up from Nihilus' shoulder. My girl, perhaps a glaive. He stops. You know, Sire, that's a really cool idea. I remember right, it's like a sword and a spear. It's like the best of both worlds. But at that point, if I'm stepping up the cool factor, why not just go for sides? Sire, or... Sire at the mention of sides, kind of leans into to Nihilus. It's like, she's one of those. Nihilus nods. 
<laughs> She's literally not. <laughs> she just wants to crit fish. <laughs> about axes. I mean, you know, I've really thought about axes for a while. Um, but, you know, I don't really like the way that they feel. I mostly pieces. use swords because it's what I practice with Drix with. Could... War picks. That's leaning a little too heavily into the dwarven stereotype, don't you think? Val mm -hmm. says, forgetting that she's human. <laughs> I mean, you, you could get one of those weird-looking skinny little swords. Those a are pretty sharp. No, no, not one of them. It's like comes from from someplace else. I, I've seen one, just don't know what it's called. An S stock. No, no, no. It was like sharp on one side. Val's <laughs> just dropping random sword names. Sophia draws S stock. <laughs> look, look, Val. Alice pulls out his dagger. This is what I've got. This is about all I know. I've had this since I was a kid. I mean, it's a good dagger, and you take good care of it. But don't you think you could do with something a little bigger? Nihilus looks to his arms, looks to, to Val, and just... Okay. Despite us being the same height, I imagine that Val is, like, 1.5 times as wide. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing, too. Wait, you're not suggesting... The swords from the Book of Weeb who fight in magic they had at the Academy, dude. Are oh, you... we don't talk about those. <laughs> yeah, that, that... Sophia, we use that book every day. <laughs> that, 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 I, th I think so. Came in a, a ornate looking sheath. Oh, no. No katanas for me. I'm good. What's a katana? The Weeb stick. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we're getting a little metatextual right now. Maybe we should dial it back a little bit. <laughs> Saki, you're just going to take all this, like, <laughs> indirect abuse? Uh, yes. No, I think Saki recognizes that, that Val would not be a good whoa, fit whoa, for whoa, a katana. Whoa. Elven curve blades are not Those katanas. Those are not katanas either, yeah. <laughs> Which I can teach you, Val, if you're willing to learn and spend, uh, how old are you? <laughs> 17. Okay, yeah, we'll get you there in, uh, how long do you normally live? Average human life expectancy is about 50. Yeah, we'll get you there before you die. Could always teach you about magic. Ah, tried. Only time I ever had progress with magic was, you know, she indicates the runes on all of her shit. I and swear. even that ain't working like it used to. It's easy. I, I just say some, some, some things, wave my hands around, and bam, I create huge pillars of rainbow fire. In fact, lately, I feel like most of this stuff is just cosmetic more than anything, but, you know. Magic's easy. Yeah. yeah you know what else is easy? Swinging a sword, but you seem to have difficulties with that, so I'm not going to tell you how to swing a sword if you don't tell me how to practice magic. Well, I mean, it's easy. Some things don't come as naturally to others as other things. Wow, my brain died a little saying that. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bell. All right. But she is just going to, like, incessantly talk about different weapon types on the way. I'm so in the weeds about different weapon types. There's spears, partisans, glaives. <laughs> What do they have to be partisan about? Shrimp, shrimp gumbo. Shrimp. Boiled shrimp. Fried shrimp. Oh, Boiled no. swords. <laughs> Boiled swords. Dad, I'm not just another dwarf stereotype. I'm a human. <laughs> her dad just screams at her. You're not supposed to say that. We're trying to blend in. Dad, my brother's a tiefling. <laughs> Five-year-old Val. Now drink your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stun oh, your throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's that. Ooh, that's good lore. Actually, I'm writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> write that one down. Write that one down. Ooh, okay. She had to drink, forced to drink coffee when she was younger to stun her growth. <laughs> so the dwarves would be more accepting. Yeah, Drix didn't have to. They knew that shit wasn't gonna, like, he wasn't fooling anybody. <laughs> Yeah, he's born. They're just like, well, he's fucked. <laughs> oh. No, they tried, and then the horns came in when he was ten. <laughs> just like, well, that's <laughs> whose fault is this? I wonder. <laughs> yeah, whose whose side of the family is to blame at this point? That's when they pull out the book of grudges. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I always knew my great, 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 great grandmother should have never met your no good great, 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 great uncle. I sure hope there wasn't a different amount of greats on each end. I wasn't paying attention. There, there were. were. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I accounted for a uh, May-December romance. So, uh, we're just... We're just shit talking on the way to Bell. We're not being careful at all. Ebony could come ambush us right now. <laughs> to be fair, we weren't gonna run out of Ebony no matter where we went. No, I don't think we had any plans to. I'm pretty sure that if she came down, we'd just be like, "Oh, hey, sup? <laughs> How'd your talk go?" <laughs> I'm taking you back to the village now. <laughs> Shows up with a coffin. Get in. <laughs> Are you here to apologize for being such a jerk about that whole swamp thing? That's okay. We, we got out. We're okay. Yeah, we forgive you. We, we forgive you. I I do have a hope that she's gonna show up and be like, "All right, you were right." <laughs> Let's just say, hypothetically, that the people of my village had some things that they needed to address. And let's just say I had an opportunity to, to address them. What would the appropriate words for that be? Thank you. That's my hope. But I know when she shows up, it'll be to kill us. How's the road looking? Uh, actually, you guys eventually are going to have a cross section of the road. More likely. Survival check? Well, more likely, you guys are going to walk until you see the road in the distance, and you're like, oh yeah, the road. <laughs> Val's like, holy shit, a road! <laughs> wow. Haven't seen one of those since the village. <clears throat> yeah, but like, this one's, you know, not, not part of a the swamp. Village. Yeah. yeah. The road wow, this is, is ill-maintained. And by that, I mean it probably hasn't been maintained for a very, very long time. But it's, Bal you know, solid. A road. The pi pioneers used to walk these things for miles. <laughs> she just kind of rubs her hand along the road, takes it in. Ah. <sighs> really Civilization. Come really come to appreciate stone. <laughs> oh yeah, what kind of stone is this made out of? Give me a give, give me a knowledge stone check. Yeah, sure. Give me now. I guess it's, is it? It's knowledge engineering, I believe. Dungeoneering. Okay, there's there's too much walking. Engineering. I dungeoneering's better for rocks. Yeah. I specifically leveled dungeoneering because I was like, fuck ropes. that be. Shut right up. Back a second. <laughs> Look at all this rock knowledge. <laughs> yeah, it's time stuff. Uh, she looks a little disappointed. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but it wasn't a rock. It was a it's road. A rock. It's Lobster. a road. <laughs> oh, the pioneers used to walk these babies for miles. Yeah, so you guys, you guys travel for quite a few hours uh it's probably mid-afternoon before on the horizon up the road a ways you see uh what seems to be the outline of some sort of civilization 
Val's gonna put her hand up to stop you guys in their tracks. She's gonna turn around. And she's gonna put 20 gold pieces down. She's gonna kneel down and put 20 gold pieces down. Alright, 20 gold pieces says they're gonna attack us on sight. I'm not taking that. <laughs> not be in their best interests. Come on, no. who's placing bets? Let's go. Oh, bets. No, I'm okay. No gambling. But if it makes you happy, it's okay. Well, I thought you were just giving them, giving it away. No, no. 20 gold says they're going to attack us on site. Anyone have any uh, other ideas? Don't worry. I have the voice of an angel. I can, I can subdue anyone. She looks sadly at Nihilus and Saki. When did we get so boring? I'm not boring. Look well, how I'm dressed. Yeah. Speak for yourself, Val. Did I just make a bet that's too hard to, you know, make a bet on? Like, <laughs> is the world that predictable? I never it's... really thought about it, but I would, I, I do have to, we need to, I need to retroactively play a scene, which is the scene where Saki shows back up after buying the fancier clothes and Nihilus's clothes become fancier than hers. <laughs> Alright, I just oh. had to get that out. I... That means that Val's gonna lose even more money in the future. <laughs> Captain, I need some money. Why? <laughs> yes. Well, you know, Nihilus is looking a lot better than me, and you know how my magic works. Rations. <laughs> oh, well, if it's rations, it's okay. No! <laughs> so, I guess uh, Val will pick up her gold, sadly, and keep walking towards Belt. You guys are boring. I resent that, Val. I find that I am very entertaining. No, you represent that now. Sire. Didn't even want to take a fun bet. I mean, I bet Sire would have taken the bet. Boss, the uh, it's a it's an interesting bet, but the likelihood of um, you also just attacking somebody, you know, it's just not safe. Why would I attack somebody? Uh, Necromancers. You. Boss, you've been unconsciously gripping the hilt of your sword every few seconds when you get close to Saki. No, I haven't. You grip sword tightly. Sword tightly. Yeah, I can see the imprint. That's just my usual battle imprint. I'm just saying, bad, bad bet. Bad, bad, I, I, bad, I don't, I'm not a better. We're going to walk up to the gates and an arrow is going to land right next to Val and she'll be... I knew it! <laughs> is there a gate? So, as you guys approach, the first thing you're going to come across is farmland, question mark? <clears throat> is what? Farmland, question mark? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's like, there's like stuff planted, but it doesn't look like there's a... Like a, just doesn't seem like there's a central planner to this. It seems like people are just planting stuff wherever. And hoping it grows. Kind of. Like they're, oh, it's, instead of having like a field of like pumpkins or whatever, right? There's like a ton of plots of land that look like they're, sort of sectioned off from each other not that they're fenced off some of it's fenced off some of it's not oh it's like me playing stardew valley you got a pile of pumpkins right there next to the wheat next to the the beans yeah and there's a ton of like little critters and animals and stuff that are just eating in certain gardens val uh, upon seeing this area <laughs> looks at uh nihilus and 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 Sophia. I wonder how our Scarecrow's doing. Didn't he, uh, just leave? 
I bet he's outstanding in his field. I think... Okay, now Val's gripping the sword. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she lets go, takes a breath, and keeps walking. But seriously, I don't know a lot about agriculture, but I'm pretty sure that most of this is wrong. Maybe this is... You know what? I don't even have an analogy for this. It's, yeah, this just doesn't look right. I mean, they're trying. I'll give them credit for that, but... First off, no gates. No fences. No walls or anything. They're not fortified against the outside world. That giant walker could have just come up to Bell and killed them all. But it ran back when it came this way. It ran towards us. Yeah, after going this way. Well, yeah, that's because we had a fire, and it saw the fire. But it was weaker than we... Well, than it should have been. Do you think... Beld had something to do with that? Possible. Well, I guess we'll just have to find the... Uh, the mayor of this fine civilization and ask. I suppose we will. Hey, hey there, sir. You see any giant corpse colossi running around lately? If so, did you happen to curse them so that they'd be weaker? That Great conversation, like Carter. Con I, oh, that sounds I, excellent. I doubt whoever cursed it is around to tell the tale. Grim, but also realistic. Well, why else would the corpse colossus leave? Unrelated, but I, I doubt that it was necessarily cursed from somewhere around here. What also, makes you say that, oh, wise and spy master? First of all, <laughs> definitely not the case. Let's let's be very clear. Um, but also, uh huh, yeah, go on. You know, it was it was already so infused with cursed magic. You know. This had to be something that, like, definitely not a farmer was involved in. Okay, well, clearly we know that farmers don't live here. Otherwise, you know, and she indicates the land. <laughs> yeah. Also, from where you guys are, because you made mention of walls, it's obvious that much further up the road, like a couple of miles out, there is walls, as well as what look to be some very tall buildings. Not protecting their fields. You know, it could very well be a bunch of necromancers decide they were tired of eating, you know, zombie meat and were like, okay, let's try our hand at this agriculture thing. Wow, just assuming all necromancers are cannibals. Okay. Sophia? Shut up. Nyla's chuckles. <laughs> she she walks up real close to Sophia and like looks up and tilts her head. Shut up. You're taller than me. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Am I really? Yes, we've had this discussion before. I'm I choose to believe you still chose to look up. <laughs> Val is five cents, so she shaft head tilted at you. <laughs> Did I just Boa Hancock you on accident? Yes. <laughs> so amazingly, it's something I could see Val doing. But yeah, we, we should probably go in and check this place out. <clears throat> Looking so far down on you. I'm looking up. Okay. Uh, as you guys approach, uh, the first thing you're going to notice past what is loosely could be described as farmland are tenements, I guess? A tin of mints? Yeah, a tin of mints. That's it. No, tenements. It's uh, really shitty housing. And a bunch of people just lazing around these sh 
shacks, basically. Many of them holding bottles of uh, unlabeled and uh, probably un unadvisable liquids. Uh, there are walls to the city proper, and the gates of these walls are obviously inoperable. And there seems to be no one uh, performing the the function of standing guard. As you guys reach the gates, you find a rough and ramshackle looking town that is incredibly lively. I do not own a token with vision on the scene. Rip. Same. Is Rip. it lively or unlively? Let's see. Token vision all. Save changes. Oh, this place is much bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. So I take it we're approaching over here? Also, off see. topic, I hope you guys are... Ooh. I hope you guys have the Steam or the Game Awards on in the background right now. I don't. Free Steam I... decks. This is... Okay. One every minute. Yeah, I take it we're right there? Yeah. There are people walking in the streets hammered and in the midst of uh, incredible revelry there are uh, quite a number of what should be red light district uh, but you don't imagine that there's a specific district for this in this town Uh, it actually, a lot of the themes of this place uh, herald back to the Greensword Gang uh, of the Undercity of Westgram. Uh, remind me, what... Most of those uh, gangs were associated with a deity, correct? Uh, usually. Do I remember what Deity the Green Sword Gang was associated with? Besmara. Besmara. Guys, why did our, you know, organization never tell us that there was a city as big as this? That's, uh... Yeah. Uh, easiest answer is they didn't know. No oh, bullshit! No, Maybe it's just a bad place we're not supposed to come to. Bad place? This place looks fantastic! Yeah, but what's underneath the shiny... Dazzling someone someone code. in the street gets stabbed as Val says that. <laughs> she takes a deep mustard. breath. You can smell the freedom in the air. Yeah, no we one in the help. street reacts to the stabbing. Should, should the guy just help doubles him? over. Uh, yeah. like, uh, Val's looking at you guys, so all of this is happening behind your back. Yep, yeah, Saki draws her weapons. Um, how far away is this this stabbing victim? 20 to 40 feet. Okay, yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll run over and, uh... uh hit, anyone... him with a, hit him with a cure of what light? Is anyone paying attention to us? Before you... Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll run in there with you. Uh, I'll, I'm sorry, what's, what's everyone? Holy watch. shit, that guy was stabbed! <laughs> yeah, I run up with Sophia and keep watch. So she can cast. Sure. 
roll the dice. He's still dead. Yeah, the guy. Uh, he he's conscious, but heavily delirious. And you feel I'm like he was he was probably delirious before the stab. Do we, great. To, do we want to extract him and question him about what's going on? Why would we? Okay. Those are some serious operation words to use on a guy that just got stabbed in the street. Uh, let's just get him to a local tavern or something. With the stabbers? Yeah, let's just get a drink at him. He'll be fine. Probably. I mean, <laughs> that's always fixed my dad. Where did that happy guy run off? Wah, wah. <laughs> no, that wasn't like a sad thing. <laughs> oh, Why I'll did like, you guys all assume badly? It wasn't, it I'll like wasn't the tap the guy in the face, but you know, get his attention. Hey, where can we get a drink? <laughs> he, <He's nuts. laughs> yeah, that's exact. No, he, he like weakly pulls the bottle in his right hand up to you. Wow, what generous people here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need more than that. Point me in the right direction. Also, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, he, he points in a direction. <laughs> and he says, well, <laughs> <laughs> I... Guys, I think this guy is plastered. But I do have to agree, have probably to taking probably him to the taking tavern to the is tavern. probably for the best. I'll lay on hands while we're helping him up. Are you going to purge his alcohol? Is that a no, function to of do your that for? Now I have to deal with the crippling reality of the crippling reality of my existence. Well, I mean, coming from a guy that lived on the streets, people like this get stabbed all the time, and, well, usually they aren't lucky enough to have us around, so... Patch him up and leave him in a tavern. He'll be fine. I don't think he needs a tavern. He's got his own. Yeah, you know? but it's probably safer than on the streets where he can get stabbed again. Nihilus, you know, despite our disagreements in the past, she puts a hand on your shoulder. I think you should take point for this one. <sighs> sure. Come on, man. This is your area of expertise. I guess so. This is my sort of town. Honestly, aside from the stabbings, might be my kind of town too. All right, I but don't I'll have, have, to have the, the stonework first. The trick from Five E anymore. True. Would I still be able to uh, pick out where where a place to put this guy would be? Uh, give me a knowledge loop. Ah, uh, I was afraid you'd ask for that. Yep. <laughs> Looking around, uh... Corvo's gonna quickly remove ears of the city from the spellbook. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a knowledge local. Yeah, uh... Nihilus, for some reason, there's a little bit too much too much going on in this general area for you to know what's going on. Uh, you're used to the rough and tumble crowd, mm -hmm. but you're used to it being like, you know, a section of the city. Not the whole city. Not the whole city. <laughs> this is, a uh, You don't have enough eyes to watch for what could happen. Uh, Val, though, you, you spot um... Uh, a particular group of uh, merry makers headed in a direction, and you have a good feeling that they're probably heading to another place to make merry. I recognize the glint in those guys' eyes. That's the glint of bar hopping. Man, this is... I I'm used to my little corner in the wall. This is much bigger than I was expecting. 
Don't worry, I'm sure you'll adjust soon enough. I mean, you just gotta think of it like a bigger corner. Yeah, that's true. But for now, let's get this guy and follow these guys. I think they know where they're going. Sounds like a good plan. And hell, what better place is there for us to ask for information about a place than, uh, you know... Well, Tavern. Yeah. The standard adventuring start. Where all great stories are made. No, and uh, often end. Who has... Saki, you may want to put on a cloak. And, you know, hide your outfit. We all came out of the swamp. There's a there's a huge I think we're gasp. looking suitably mucky. No, because I have pressed a digitation. There's a huge what? There's a huge gasp. It comes from Sire at the idea of hiding the ostentatious Saki. <laughs> Val uh, lets lets one of her great swords just fall. Like in response to the suggestion, Nihilus becomes even more <laughs> yeah. Of, ostentatious. of a peacock. Saki <laughs> pulls out her cold weather coat uh, or uh, cloak or whatever. She looks at it. She looks at her outfit, but they don't match. Yeah, Saki. But... Saki. I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree on this one. Not with the match <sighs> matching. You be you. Today, I'm you guys' bodyguards. Yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, you look like you have money. So do you, Nihilus. I'm aware of that, but I can't do much about that. And neither can Saki. That powers her magic. Actually, I I was wearing the, uh, the original clothes. I wasn't wearing the royal clothes in the swamp. Okay. Well, then never mind then. So... Oh, well, then retract all of that, I guess. But that's okay. I guess it's been a day. I've, I've slept since I got out of the swamp, so I would have changed. Yeah, and everyone got pressed to and bathed. I could, uh... Let me swap this out. Boop. Boop. Okay, but yeah, if boss has my back, I'm sticking to it. Boop the night. Alright, just... If anyone bumps into you... Try and grab him. Or at least check your pockets. Saki uh, holds tightly to her haversack. That kind of goes for everybody. All right. As you follow guys, the merrymakers. As you guys follow the merrymakers, with the drunkard uh, in tow. With the drunkard in tow. Uh, they head into a, a an unmarked building. On we go. <laughs> Val just walks in like she owns the place. Yeah. As you go in, uh. There seems to be an active bar brawl. And uh, the bartender seems to not be bothered by this. Sees you guys enter and acknowledges your, your entry. Guys, Val, like, there's a tear that goes down her cheek. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab a bottle and break it over the bar. <laughs> When in belt, act as a Belgian. Arazi. Saki looks at him, shattering objects, and she just she shatters. <laughs> Every, everyone in our party nice. just grabs a bottle and smashes it, except for like Corvo, Sophia, and Nihilus. How could she? How could she do this? <laughs> Uh, Nihilus will approach the bartender. Uh, hey, can I get a drink? Yeah, it's over. 
<laughs> he he gives this like horrid one toothed laugh, and he pulls a glass from under the table that already has liquid in it, and just slides it your way. <laughs> Pre-made drinks. Bow oh, will will like kind of <laughs> sneak it from under you and take a sniff of it. Uh, I mean, it doesn't smell terribly alcoholic. There's definitely alcohol in it. Is it rot gut? No, it's not. Rot gut would be much stronger than this. But uh, this is definitely I don't know about something this one, that takes, This is definitely something that is either an acquired taste or takes some fortitude to get down. <laughs> um, my my guess is it's uh, something akin to uh, if you've ever seen Memento. They they all go around uh, the bar and spit in the cup, and then they hand it to the guy with memory problems. Nellis, I think it's eating through the glass. Well, then, do you want it? Oh no! High or low? This definitely looks like a stone sunder special. Always high. Fuck. <laughs> Val takes it and shoots it back. <laughs> um, give me a quick fortitude save. Not a constitution? Uh, no. Oh no. Why would you willingly nerf yourself like that? I mean, you make it through there, but this tastes like... This takes this tastes like what you imagine like to give you a real world example. If you went to a bar and you took the U drain out of a sink. This is like that. The P trap. It's like industrial. Val industrial like, strength gin. The glass is still in her hand, but she's still like her her head's thrown back from when she knocked it back. And you can see her hands start to tremble. He, the same guy, slides a much smaller glass. Uh, with she some... takes it immediately. And it. Now this, this is like stripping the the taste buds out of your mouth, which is a she, welcome relief. It, she exactly slams it down and before. looks at him and says, "Thank you." Chaser needed. What the fuck was that? Sink water. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> he says, he says I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> what do I owe you? <laughs> Sink water. He says, What's it worth to you? She puts a copper on the counter. <laughs> he, then he, she stops, slides the copper off, <laughs> puts two gold pieces on the counter. I will never forget this experience as long as I live. <laughs> he, he he gives a you know a, a chortle and slides the gold pieces, and then he puts up. Uh, six of those little glasses, and then from the from the bottle underneath, he pours a little bit into each one, the same clear liquid. The, the sink water? No, no, no. No, this is the the drink. No. All right, fuckers, have at it. I'd like to remind everyone, there's active bar brawl happening. I think we're just ignoring it. That, that's fine. There's a lot of people in the bar also actively ignoring the bar brawl. It's like, this is just Tuesday. Does it seem like a fair brawl? Does anyone need any help? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would want help, but at that point, you're, you're definitely sure. taking a side. Sure, but does anyone clearly need any help? Clearly? I mean... 
a lot of these people look like they should be down and out, and they will... <laughs> one of them gets, like, nearly knocked out, falls over the table, over the uh, bar where you guys are, writes himself, takes one of the small glasses, shoots it, and then dives right back in. Oh, these guys will be fine. There's a there's a tearing sound and a rift opens in the middle of the bar. Uh, okay. <laughs> Everybody stops what they're doing and draws some sort of blade. And after about a minute, when the rift closes, they all put their blades away. And then continue to bar bro. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna look to Val. <laughs> Curiously. Okay, okay, I need you to repeat what just happened to me. <laughs> Writing that down. There was a bar brawl happening. And then a right. rift opened. At which point, everyone in the bar drew some sort of bladed weapon. Everyone pulled <clears throat> steel. Yep. After about a minute... When nothing came out of the rift and it closed, they put their weapons away and continued to barbara. Okay, so whenever whenever a rift opens, everyone in Bell just all pull steel, think... and whatever's behind there goes. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I, th I think whatever was on the other side of the portal saw where the portal was and decided not to come through. The elevator <laughs> opens. And like, <laughs> the, the elevator opens. They're like, this isn't my floor. <laughs> the demon behind it just starts like pressing a button rapidly. Starts matching the, <laughs> the door close button. The rift close button. So, uh, <clears throat> you guys really have a handle on the whole rift situation here, don't y'all? Um, the man turns his head and loudly proclaims, "Ha!" Huh? Riffs! Y'all seem to have a handle on that situation! He he turns his head the other way and says, I'm deaf in that ear. That was chuckles. She turns to the bar full of brawlers. So what the fuck do you guys do about riffs around here? And no one seems to pay you any mind. She takes her sword and slams it in the ground. So what the fuck do you guys do about rifts around here? Uh, give me intimidation or persuasion. Uh, you get an intimidation. Uh, can I roll stealth? Sure. By the way, the whole time this is all happening, there is a fiddler. Oh, damn. Almost a 20. I, I just want to not be next to Val when when she's doing this. I am your commander. Yeah, there's, there's not a whole lot who pay you any mind. But there's one hooded figure who's been sitting next to you guys this whole time. Who turns to you and says, Where are you all from? She kind of cuts, cuts in real quick and says, Uh, what's it matter to you, Bao? I said Bao, I meant Bud. Bao? Uh, I think Bao <laughs> works. I like Bao. It's a good foe. <laughs> says, Well, you all come in here and seem mighty confused about the way things go, so I imagine you're not locals. Uh, let's just say we, we came out of a a hole in the wall that, uh, well, really kept us prisoner for a while. The wanna... hooded figure sitting next to the hooded figure turns and looks at him. <laughs> Want to bluff? Yeah, sure. Boom. <laughs> he says, 
Well, wherever you're from, how do they handle the rifts there? Just let things traipse out and do whatever they want? We don't really have rift problems where we're from. It's mostly outside of that area. Val, Val, please. What do you mean you don't have any rifts? Oh, we've got them. We've got them in spades. I mean, we Just... stick them with the pointy end as soon as they come through. That typically is the case. Just kill what comes through as best you can. Also, out of character, Val is not referencing the fucking village. She's referencing quarantine. Yeah. I set a little hole in the wall that kept us prisoner for a while. That could be anywhere. <laughs> it could definitely be quarantine. <laughs> Hell, that could be West Crown. That could be Agorian. That could be... That could be anywhere. Quarantine. <laughs> I did good. <laughs> the, uh, the hooded figure... Uh, commandeers one of the the shots you guys have and says it's a little loud in here. He steps outside. All right, guys, take your drinks to go. Nihilus is gonna follow. Of course, he will take it. One of the drinks. Oh yeah, Val's gonna take but one. He, he's gonna remain guarded. She's gonna shoot it back and then put it down. <laughs> Yeah, on top of being effectively paint thinner, it's ungodly sour. She, she makes the whiskey face. <laughs> you know, the one that everyone makes? Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you clench your teeth. And <laughs> yeah, he steps outside. And, uh, we're all once he's outside, he extends a hand towards Nihilus. Nihilus will take his hand by the wrist and shake it that way. Okay. Yeah, he returns the gesture and says, Mad Mike. Domine. Walk with me, Domine. And he starts moving down the street. You want me to come alone or with my pals here? Doesn't matter to me. Oh Nihilus my god! Hmm? Huh? Sorry. Nihilus waves for everyone to follow and say, we, we're, we all have a hand in what, what, what we need to know. What do you need to know? Well, we just arrived here and, uh, this place seems like well, it feels like home to me, but probably wouldn't for others. What's going on here? You're going to have to be a little more specific. People are stabbing what? each other. Some people deserve to be stabbed. I'm not going to argue that. Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> My leg! What well, did that cat do to you? <laughs> he jumped off the back of the chair randomly while I was leaning back, so the chair, like, went off its back two legs, its front two legs. Then he walked across my leg, shoved his head in my drink. I tried to stop him. He fell off, clawed my leg on the way down. Ow. See, what you don't understand is that he is ungovernable. You're uh, yes. And some people deserve to be stabbed. And some people Look, deserve some to be cats deserve to be stabbed. <laughs> Fuck you, Binks. But Nihilus will 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 ask. Uh, well, I'm assuming you've got someone in charge around this this place. Do you know who that is offhand? Or at least which family's in control? He. He looks at you with a very confused expression. Says, well, Big Jones is captain of the ship I'm a part of. And who's who's Big Jones? We're not from around here. He's the captain of our ship. Keep up, Nihilus. I was hoping to... Oh, never mind. 
Uh, <laughs> what is it that you do? I mean, I understand you're on a ship, but what is your ship for? We're in acquisitions. Understandable. Pirates! Val, please. He's in acquisitions. Oh, Sophia slaps the back of Val's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Don't act like we didn't know privateers! At least call them privateers. Fine. Privateers. Does that sound better to you? Have you ever heard of discretion? Apparently this town hasn't. Why do yeah, I have to be discreet? I don't know. Do you like your liver on the inside? Do they like their liver on the inside? <sighs> like, why are you asking Val these questions? You know how she's going to respond. Saki's going to come up and hand her a drink to Val and say, Here, Val, have this. Can I... No, that's for you. I've proven myself to this town already. I drank dishwater. Right, Nihilus will ask again. All right. Um, what general information can you tell me about this place? Like, what? what's... How big is it? What's the main thing going on here? Like, we, we saw the agriculture. That's pretty much doomed. Uh, as you guys have walked, uh, you guys are, are starting to cross a rather large bridge, and, like, in the middle, like, of the walkway of the bridge, there's a very large, uh, statue of some sort of, like, aquatic monster that is in the it's, it's a statue of an aquatic monster in the heat of battle with some sort of figure in the uh, offhand of this figure there is some sort of rope that seems to be almost lassoed around the creature's neck which the, the figure is pulling the creature in and in the other hand is a revolver that is pointing directly at this sea creature's head. And what can you tell me about that statue? That seems real interesting. This is a statue of the the first um, uh, the first of the deep sea fishers. Deep sea fishers, huh? Are they the ones that founded this place? Founded's a rough word. The place was put under new management around that time. Understandable. So, what is that monster that the, the deep sea fisher is fighting? Uh, give me uh, knowledge nature. I'm asking him. Oh. Uh, he says rather bluntly, It's a Kraken. Good enough answer for me. Not for me. Here comes my 20 for the night. Nope. <laughs> Does it actually look like a Kraken? Sophia, At least as far it, as I can tell. It looks like a kraken, but you would know off of the 17 that krakens are supposed to be enormous. Like, this isn't... That's this, not this, big this, enough to be a kraken. This isn't to scale. There's no... Yeah. This is more of a... You know, it's more art than history. Hmm. Hmm. Now this ponders for, for a second or so, and... What are some of the sites around here? Like, any places interesting or stand out? He 
he he motions to to look over the railing. Miles will we'll take a look. Below the bridge, there is a system of pulleys that is hoisting an actual sea monster up above layers of scaffolding that come from beneath the bridge and all along the scaffolding there are effectively floors of people butchering this creature from top to bottom Nihilus waves a hand Val, Val, come here come Val here now gonna look over the edge. holy mother of what are they doing? yeah Come, come here and look, Razzie. beating wings. Yeah, I'll look over. What are they doing? There's the an car- actual sea monster being carved up off of floors of scaffolding uh, with a system of pulleys that have hoisted this thing up out of the water. Wow, look at that. These people really have their things in order, don't they? I think order is a four-letter word around here. I've seen nothing more orderly. Look at this. Val's oh. going to look over to the cloaked man and see if he has a look of disgust in his face. Uh, he seems to be basking in the slaughter. Do you guys do this all the time? Where is it from? The deep, Razzy. <gasps> like the ocean? So like the is... ocean. This is one of the monsters that... Ugh, I thought they were just a story. More than a story. At least three. How, I take it this is the second one. Second? He points uh, what is downriver for you guys. And you can see another boat. Uh, actually, it's, it's two boats... And between the two boats, they have a still thrashing sea monster that they're just hauling. Oh, that is so cool. How do you catch them? Your your paladins must be mighty. Yes, they're paladins. Deep sea. She's creatures. gonna lean into to Nihilus real quick. Hey Nihilus, what do you think the odds that Drix and company went through here? Now this will uh, whisper back. Likely, but I don't think this is the guy to tell us. Probably not. I mean, <laughs> how many tieflings does this guy see on the average day? Now this looks around. Any tieflings just walking around? There's probably four, like right now. <laughs> yeah, there. I mean, there are some carving the sea monster below you. This sea monster, is it, like, recognizable, or is this, like, a new species type thing? Uh, I mean, give me a knowledge nature. I'm also guessing the, the bridge is either here or this one. Yeah, it's the big one. Okay. So, how did we get past the gate if the gate was broken? Like, I... is there just a spot where there's a hole in the wall? Well, no, we just walked in. Yeah, you just walk in. Yeah, like, like oh, the, it's the, broken the, open. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rez, you're not sure what, like, the official name for the... Are you talking about the one being slaughtered, right? Yeah, whichever one I could see better. Okay. Uh, but I mean, it looks like a sea serpent. It looks like an enormous, you know, serpentine creature with, uh... A almost canine head. Yeah, I kind of hate it, but I, it's kind of cute too. Miles will just stare at Razzie and just. You uh, had to have expected this, Nihilus. I did. I did. Don't let it hurt your head. Oh, it hurts. Nope, nope, stop thinking about it. Think about the awesome beneath you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no matter how much we hate each other, we are united in this. <laughs> They're like two barroom combatants whenever a portal rips open. Yeah, it's a good, good analogy. 
Like what? Two room bar room. combatants when the portal oh, rips yes. open. Okay, so... Fuck it, Nihilus. I'm taking a shot in the dark here. Hey, Mr. Uh, spooky Cloak Guy. Mad Mike, you said your name was? He doesn't respond. He just leers. You happen to see a tiefling around here? Like, one that acts like he's some historic knight of valor or some shit? Has a real pompous uh, voice that's definitely fake? You mean Mayor Tritz? He just Fuck blinks. God. He just blinks twice and says, "No." Thanks. I Worth just, asking. Uh, side mouths. Don't worry. She asks everyone. Uh, there is a um, plaque on that statue, by the way. What does it read? Uh, first of the deep sea fishers, captain of the crimson stinger, Terry Shieldheart. Look at that. She what the stuff. fuck happened? She did stuff. She abandoned West Crown. Wait a minute, you said she was using a revolver and what else? A uh, rope. Upon closer inspection... It looks like she has some sort of Indiana Jones situation. So a whip? Uh, a whip, and if you look closely, there is a hook at the end of the whip that is embedding itself in this creature's neck. I'm so fucking proud of her. <gasps> is the revolver ornate? Uh, if you're thinking about Draymond, he was a he was a rifle. No, 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 I'm not asking about that. Oh, yeah, the revolver is... It looks to be very high-tech. Does it have some runes in the barrel? <laughs> uh, I mean... On the barrel? Yeah, it looks to be magical. <laughs> okay. Is that Zaflon's gun? I mean, he did give him. Why are you crying, Val? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's weird. Fuck. Allergies, <laughs> help, I guess. What the hell was that? I don't know. Something got my eye. What is a really cool statue, yeah, though? Ter terrible day for for rain, right, boss? Yeah, really shitty day for rain. Oh, oh, now I'm sad. How big is this statue? Uh, it's probably. I mean, she wasn't this large, unless she was a giant. Uh, <laughs> it's probably size and a half of a human and the uh and the the size of the sea monster uh the sea monster is probably two to three x human size but uh really under scale like 15 yeah. 20 20 feet uh probably like 15 feet something like that okay all right mike who's in charge of the city like y'all gotta form a government I doubt there's a law enforcement or anything, but I mean, you know, the big cheese that keeps every, all the ducks in a row. Uh, he pulls from beneath his cloak as he gets close to Val, uh, like a flintlock, and just puts it under her chin. Now that's uncalled for. This... This is the big cheese, and he he uh, t like spins it, and puts it away. Got it. Excuse me. Quick question: Was that loaded? Wouldn't be much use if it was unloaded. All right. All righty then. Val, calm down. It's too late. It says, Oi, Big Jones! Uh, as he, he does a wave to some figure that's towards the back of the group. 
Oh, her knuckles were white and she was taking a step forward <laughs> and then he did this. You guys uh, can hear a, a, a deep, gruff voice. It says, Mad Mike, who are these nobodies? Unless they're new crew, in which case, welcome aboard. There's a there's a twitch in Val's eye. <laughs> Uh, you turn to see... Silas, hold me back! <laughs> you, anyone, anyone who cares to will turn to see uh, uh, a figure which uh, pales in comparison in stature to Razzy. This is a halfling who is short for a half. Who's this short stuff? No. Right, Nihilus will put a hand on Val's shoulder and just take a breath. I or if you, nobody. We ain't no nobody. We killed the goddamn Hydra. Yeah, and look what they killed. Yeah, look how Probably. many of them it took. In a whole system. No, we killed a hydrant that was just spitting water on us on land. We don't deserve to be talked to like this. Some of us killed a hydra. That's okay, Razzy. You've done important things, too. You're not a nobody. Thanks, Carbo. Hey, Nihilus. Razzy, remember... Not Razzy, I'm sorry. Hey, Nihilus, remember the fucking dream, spider? Yeah. How could I forget? Do we seem like a bunch of nobodies to you? Well, probably to him. Do you know how many people are telling the story of the Dream Spider? Zero. Do you know how many people are telling actually, the story of the Hydra? Ooh, actually, give me a quick knowledge local. Alright, time to fail I got again. You. Okay. I'll roll it anyway for the, for the lols. Maybe I'll get a 20. Nope. nope. Alright. Val, um, when, when Nyla says, do you know how many people are... And it makes sense because you rolled before. Do you know how many people are just telling the story about the, the dream spider? Um, not, uh, Val, you know for a fact there is a particular captain of a particular ship that happens to be a, a, a playwright who is uh has been spreading that story for a while, though it is um embellished the in places. Of, the captain of the CSS Marone Star. What do you remember did you write that down? <laughs> yes. I know I he wrote it I down. I did not write down the captain's name for some reason. I, I knew I knew he wrote it down and didn't remember because it's the Marone star. I knew there was something wrong with the uh, pronunciation. Yeah. So when Val says, when Val is talking about the dream spider out loud, does anyone, like, notice? Yeah. So I was still Speaking correct of the Marone assumption. star, I think our best bet to get back to other civilization would be to charter a a ship from here. Actually, is there a ship called the Morone Star around? The CSS Morone Star. No, yes, the that... CSS. Very specific about that. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean... Uh... The, the Howard wouldn't leave the safety of the shipping lanes. Yeah, it wouldn't stay, it would stay in the shallows the whole time it went anywhere, so it took forever to go places. Yeah, it never left sight of land. And if also, it ever sunk, we could swim to shore. Yeah, and most of the privateers that you guys are familiar with in quarantine were West Crony privateers. I guess you guys are right. He was a bitch even for quarantine. You, uh... You hear this Michael... This sounds like these the worst. <laughs> 
Michael is well, gonna go and talk to Big Jones while you guys are hashing this out. Uh, Corvo, Razzie, and Saki would have been on that ride. I'll they would know. The f the five day trip that took two weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And Grandma won't get out of the left lane. <laughs> I took the scenic route. I mean, it's always a scenic route on the CSS Moroni Star because oh, there's a dinner say. show every night. There's no air conditioning. It's the same show every <laughs> night. It's a it's a different show usually, but he's, it's also he's mandatory. Got a of them now. Yeah. Yeah. No Watch. one gets food until everyone is here for the show. Well, no, dinner is served during the show, and then they lock the doors to the <laughs> to the lower decks while the show's going on. It's quite literally a captive audience. That poor audience. Yeah. Um, let me do something. Yeah. Oh well. All right. See ya. Um, <laughs> uh, Big Jones is gonna break his conversation with with mad michael and say so you're tourists this is a odd place to go touring well we've never been here before seemed like a place to stop all right it's definitely a place to stop i mean how could we miss seeing What's under this bridge? That's, that's amazing. If there's one thing you should know about this place, it's I return. to don't step to deep sea fishers. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? It says don't step to deep sea fishers. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Who stepped to deep sea fishers? Don't step. Yeah, but who did? Nobody. Nobody. Not yet. Yeah, now this was just remarking on what's going on under the bridge. Okay, so let's put all this together so far. Beld is a city largely unprotect largely ungoverned by any central body. Doesn't Has no have major law has no major laws that prohibit people from, you know, lashing out in violence against each other, is largely governed by the people for the people, seems to be based entirely around deep-sea fishing and privateering. You've used this word governed a lot. Yeah, sorry. Quarantine kind of drilled it into my fucking head. No, there, there's no government. They're entirely self-driven. Self-motivated. All in all, this place is pretty cool. I say. I say so. But... They also don't have a guardian or deity to... Uh, hold the portals at bay. They just stab it. I mean, is yeah, that um, you do? Drix would have lasted the whole five seconds here. I don't think that Drix came through here. <laughs> he would have stepped on someone's feet. Oh, this seems like a place where my mom and apologized. <laughs> Definitely seems like a pretty Get stabbed awful twice. Around. Once for stepping on the feet. Yeah. Once for apologizing for it. <laughs> Two for apologizing. <laughs> well, 
Well then. Yeah, Big Jones is going to say, uh, Well, if you're the kind that like Turin, how about Turin the Seas? Would we get to fight one of those monsters down below? Oh, for that you'd have to join a different ship. Hmm. Well, this looks down to himself. Not really much of a seafarer. I mean, it sounds like fun, but got me some land legs. They, um, they got any interesting rocks in the ocean? He, he seems confused and bewildered by this question, and then turns to Razzie and says, What of you? You have the proper proportions for the sea life. You know, I always wanted to try out my old sea legs. Parents said it was too dangerous because there was <laughs> monsters out there, but... <laughs> it looks like you've got a good handle on them. Were your parents seafarers, Razzie? Razzie? No, but they're descendants of seafarers. Good Which, to know. I suppose we all are in some way. Yeah, there be fewer monsters on the sea while my ship's docked. How far out have you gone anyway? Like other continents or just, just in the general area? Uh... Magnamar is usually a good hit. Ooh, a good hit. I don't like that word. That makes you a little uncomfortable. Oh, uh, do we know where that is? Uh, probably not. Geography? Uh, yeah, the 24, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, that's much, much further north from here. Much, much further north. Well, if we were interested, where could we find your ship? Trying to think of the right way he's gonna word this. Um, the docks aren't a preschool. We don't have a signed seat here. Yeah, but there's there's got to be like a name for the dock that you're you're at, right? Uh, he actually pulls this small, like, patch from one of his pockets, and he shows you a, a symbol, like, uh, it's, it's, it's his flag, uh, and it looks like, uh, like a gallows that is, has blood dripping from it. He says, you'd be looking for the bloody hang. Is he offering the, the patch, the flag to me, or, or is just showing me? He's just showing. All right, Nihilus will take a good look at it and nod. Hmm. I will remember that. Uh, right in your notes. <laughs> yeah, another another thing of note is both the ship that was beneath the docks and the ship that was coming up river, uh, they fly two flags. They fly their own individual flag, and then they also fly a uh, uh, 
my brain is broken. A common flag? Yeah. It's a, uh... Shit, I can't remember the thing right now. But it's it's a flag that denotes the uh, deep sea fisher. Oh yeah, it's a serrated hook. All right. I think we we'd like to to look around some. We'll consider stopping by if we we feel like joining you on the sea. Yeah, the, uh, Big Jones, uh, give me a bluff check, actually, because I doubt you're Man. actually considering this. Ooh, might be bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, <clears throat> he kind of scoffs, spits, and turns and walks away. Uh, but Mad Michael gives, like, a, an unexpectedly, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Formal bow, and then turns and walks as well. Hey, wait, 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 wait. That offer extends to all of us, right? <laughs> Mad Michael stop to speak he says well, I'm sure the captain would be happy to have capable hands okay I might be in touch once I find my brother uh, he seems pleasantly surprised but he gives a nod and uh, follows after the captain what seems like a fun life being a pirate they certainly don't want for adventure I'm not s saying they they aren't just plus okay. yeah. plus you know part of being a pirate is freedom right I just hope you can live with the you know the murdering the pillaging the raping yeah, we should definitely leave this place like really really quick that's probably a good plan what, Bell? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like afternoon when we got here, right? Mm hmm. See, we should probably find a place where we can sleep without getting uh, robbed or stabbed. Yeah, we should definitely leave this place really, really quickly. We just got here. Have you not seen what this place is? Have you not? I, I very much have. This is a terrible place. This is an amazing place! Someone nearly died whenever we walked in, Val. And yeah. we took care of them! Yeah, I mean, I, I've said it feels like home, and while there's a lot of awesome stuff here, home wasn't good! Look, I don't like quarantine, guys. I don't know if you noticed this about me, I hate being in the cartographers! Understandable, boss, but listen, there is a fair middle ground between quarantine and being stabbed to death in your sleep. And, and you're, you're absolutely absol right. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm with you 100% on that. But this is the most exciting place we've seen so far. I will admit, it's better than the swamp. In West Crown, everyone was shoved in their own devices like... No one was talking with each other. It was its own thing. This? Come on, guys. This is out of a storybook. Sire, Sire yeah, takes like a, a moment. Yeah, like a cautionary tale. Sire takes a moment and says, My my beautiful sapling, I, I, I feel I repeat myself, but if you are stabbed to death in your sleep, just know that our relationship will not change. Thank you. I 
Gonna try yeah, not to get stabbed to death, but... Nihilus, you have nothing to worry about, see? I mean... I'll have Besides, business. we know that Drix and company came through here. No, we don't. Okay, well, 7 out of 10 chance they came out came through here. You you said earlier that there's no way your brother came through here. Okay, no way he lasted. He probably came and went. So you want to... Look, I, I'm all for desperate searches. I, I... Yeah. I'm all for desperate searches, but Desna knows... I doubt anybody here would remember seeing him. Yeah, hey, hey, big boss. Boss wants to stay in the dangerous city. Big boss, because Sophie is bigger. <laughs> but Sophie is shorter. Oh, I forget. I, I'm also, <laughs> I've also taken the propaganda that Val's shorter than everybody. He should have been. <laughs> what is? How tall is Val? Five six, which is let's see. He's pulling up averages. Yeah, Maybe. slightly above average height for women. What? Yeah, average height short. for women is five foot four inches. I, I gotta redo my character sheet. I took slightly below average height at five foot one. Oh, um, make you tell Leslie. Me. I gotta. I gotta do some retcons. <laughs> no, nope, you're committed. I gotta shave two inches off. Should have drank more average. coffee as a kid. I don't know what to tell you. What? Should have drank more coffee as a kid. Two inches. Two inches. Two inches. Five four. That's what I'm asking. Nope. Just take your shoes off. Just take your shoes off. Uh, she's probably got, you know, big plated boots. So she looks like she's five seven. Stop. Stop ruining this for me. You know, this anyway. is the second funniest time that somebody's ruined uh, accidentally messed up measurements for their characters in my D, &D games. <laughs> <laughs> Did the first one also involve me? No, the first one copy pasted the uh, stats that they got off of a Dead or Alive game for their character's measurements, but didn't know that uh, millimeters weren't the same as uh, inches. Oh my god! So he presented the uh, the Japanese measurements as inches. Giant. Oh no. yes. Oh, 169 like, inches. Yeah, and... like we could have like flipped her, his uh, her on her side and rolled her faster than she moved. <laughs> um. But, well, I don't even know what kind of campaign that was. It was a mess. Uh, I bet. Don't recommend. But um, regardless, irregardless, hope that word pissed everyone off. Uh, it's used to just fine. No, it's not. <laughs> I pissed myself off saying Yeah, right. He hurt himself in his confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, look, to be fair, it pro I think the idea of a big tiefling talking in knightly terms with a big fake, po fake posh accent would be pretty memorable to most people. I mean, out of Unless character... Unless they're blackout all, drunk. Out of character, what all do you remember about Trix's path? Or... What, what did the letter say? Something about further north? Or just, we found the village, it's not here, they're not the threat. There is a bigger threat. That's all the letter said. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember that someone helped him and this group get out of the village. Did they mention which direction they tried to leave? Fuck. Checking my notes. Do you think they would have gone after necromancers? Canis, Septimo, Raza, Ravina. Do you think there would have been 
necromancers here five years ago? I don't think there's been necromancers here for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we actually we misread it. It's uh, necromancers. Oh no! <laughs> No. Oh no, necromancers! Yeah, ship There's rolling just down cats with everywhere. A ship rolling up river with a uh, a cat flag. Everyone on board is in a maid outfit with cat ears. Stop. I don't seem to remember the passing. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Leslie, help me out. Sorry. Sorry. Can't help. I wrote a lot of this stuff down, but this one appears to have missed the mark somehow. Yeah, Let me see if it's in the character notes for... It's all in the VOD. Great. How many episodes go with that? I don't know. Six. <laughs> or, no, you've got like eight episodes to read through. Okay, so... North. They had to have gone north. But we don't know much more about... Because in my notes... Far to the north, past the mountains, a secret society that keeps portals. Can't contain them. Portals leak out. Perhaps I can close the portals. As long as my ally is true to their word, he is in my home. And uh, the scrap of paper with the curly W on it. But uh, it's actually a, a bird. <laughs> <laughs> the jailbirds that really needed a taste of reality. But yeah, there you guys st uh, stand on uh, the Butcher Bridge. So you're suggesting we take a pirate ship and go north. Oh, what's up river? Up river is where the docks are. No, no, I mean like up river from Belt. Bow stops and looks at Sophia. Sophia. This is a fantastic time to ask. I mean, think about it. She pulls out her map. All this stuff along the river and all this stuff along the coast is unmarked for us. These guys could mark all of it. And hell, there's probably some adventurous sorts in this city. And they're n nautical charts. They would have record of where various ports are. Come on, as a chronicler, this must be tantalizing information for you. Now, no captain in their right mind is going to let someone else see their charts. Not for free. But we just met a captain who seems very eager to recruit us. Yeah, that's concerning in many ways. Sophia, can you roll me a d20 real quick? Okay. Oh, shit. Space Marine 2 trailer. <clears throat> so, how bad did I get pickpocketed? I don't know what you're talking about. Subtract 20 gold. So, yeah, we should find somewhere semi-private for this conversation. Not the middle of the street where we could get stabbed. Why would someone stab us? Why wouldn't they? I mean, Miles gestures to himself. Got a very fancy looking person here. Yeah, and Val, you stab people for less. I did everything in my power to not stab that kobold. But I agree with Sophie. We should probably not talk about this in the open. Fine! Let's go find a hotel or something. 
hotel. Yeah. Uh, hostel. I was about to say, because from where you guys are, there is an incredibly tall building very close by. And all up it, there are windows. And you can tell from this distance that there's a party going on in every window. We may have to crash a party and commandeer a room. Well, might makes right. Apparently that's the law here. <sighs> All right. So, okay, no. Well, does that mean if we beat you in a fight with a new leader? He glares at Saki. I'd like to see you fucking try. <laughs> Saki shrugs. Maybe one day. Tell you what, Saki, if I had the ability to pass on leadership to someone else, I'd give it to you. Saki no, shudders. No, 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 don't, don't give it to her. After I find my brother, I don't give a fuck what happens. Hmm. She goes off into the middle space. <laughs> You've I bet you'd make ideas. a great leader. Uh, what are what are the official rules on that? If if the captain defects, I like the chronicler becomes uh, acting captain, right? Yeah. And then at best, I could confer with uh, I could phone home and see who they'd prefer. Who's the only other marshal yeah. person in the group? That's not really what the phone home is for. Yeah, I know, but... E.T. I want to take ten? Yeah, sure. Yeah, grab some drink. Yeah, grab a drink, go to the bathroom. Take yeah. ten. Right back. Some tea.
I'm back. Leslie, you there? Leslie is not there. I return. Good. Listen to what I just sent you. What? Just sent you something. Uh, probably not going to be able to listen to that, but... Why? It's two minutes. I will listen to it at some point. Probably. Why not? Probably after stream ends. I'm just trying to help you find good music for, for your areas. Yeah, it's surprisingly tough. What? Surprisingly tough to find good music for areas. Oh, no, not for this area. <laughs> this is really easy. There's an entire game about this. He has been doing your, um, four, four symbols thing. A what? Uh, the Rise of the Beast. Oh shit, it's up. On my way. Also, fuck. Nathaniel just told me about the new meta. The new meta? In League. Uh, Midlander's mean? taking Smite. Is that meta now? Yeah, Midlander's taking it, Smite. It, it's an option where you your first jungler power farms as fast as possible and then swaps with the Midlander and they go power farm and then you have two people with Smite with the stat bonuses from the jungle item. I have been seeing people just not have a support and have double jungler. Like a dream come true for you. Yeah, I've been saying that's been correct forever. Literally, uh, one of your junglers starts in the enemy jungle, and then their jungler's just sad.
Good game. Uh, I mean, yeah. Also, the the balance team doesn't know what they're doing, so there's that. They know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're buffing top lane. Yeah. They're <laughs> buffing top lane. Better buff Aurelia. Like, you know what? I feel like top laners aren't having enough impact on the map, so we're going to give them more golden experience. I feel like Set's not strong enough. It's like... I feel, you know... I feel bad for Darius, because nobody can 1v1 him. Let's give him a buff. That's not true. Fjord can 1v1 him. Level 1. Oh, well, you don't fight him. Yeah, nobody can fight Darius early game. Yeah, Trendomir can. Eh, Trendomir can get lucky with that fight. Yeah, and then bleed to death, because uh, he's got uh, 150 bleed damage, level 1. Every time I, I would play Trin, I just fucking... Got all my rage and then started whacking Darius. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you ever. He go wait Trindamere. no this isn't how this is supposed to go. <laughs> you could still just be playing Trinamir. I'll never forget that. The Trinamir bans. Yeah exactly. You get that seventy percent win rate on Trinamir, and then you switch <laughs> to playing eighty carrier and clash. <laughs> Just ban Trindamir every time. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> Just target ban. Just like that motherfucker have a seventy percent win rate with Trindamir. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with seventy percent win rate Trindamir. <laughs> this dude knows every matchup. <laughs> Trindamir mid's been making a comeback too. You know the sad thing is I. <sighs> I did know every matchup with Trindamir, <laughs> fuck. Just and uh, Sphere of Shojin's back. Yeah. So what? Is, so is Ravage. Sphere of... Yeah, you get cooldown reduction based on your AD. Yep. Yeah, you hold run on, Ravenous, Shojin, Navori, and then you just E after every attack. So it's just like how it used to be for me. To be fair, Shojin's really expensive. It also gives a lot of AD. Yeah, yeah you still TM at rush, then fuck off to their jungle. Uh, if you're TM at rushing, just get Ravenous. But yeah. No. Yeah, because Ravenous now has uh, no, Bloodthirster's old AD stacking. Yeah. Oh, and... hold on. Best ongoing game goes to. Final Fantasy 14. Nice. Final Fantasy XIV beat Fortnite. Uh, as it should. Why? Okay, I need to deconstruct this real quick. What is the problem with Fortnite? Fortnite. It's the building element person. sucks. Okay, there's a no build mode now. It's yeah, third that, person. I also agree with Liz a little bit on that, but the, the no build mode definitely is a... Not that... I mean, I've not played Fortnite ever at all. I'm speaking... Neither have I, but like... Minutes. Is it bad because it's popular? No, no I think it's actually worse. No, it failed at what it was originally supposed to be, which was a zombie survival game. Overall, I think it's really funny and entertaining. So they scrapped it and turned it into the build mode shooter. Mm -hmm. No yeah. other game can you see Goku hit the Nene and then headshot someone from 200 yards away with a sniper rifle. At yeah, best, like it I is can... shameless monetization. Yeah, true. I don't even know how they're getting away with it. <laughs> uh, because it's Tencent, it. which is a Chinese company. They have all the power. So it just oh, never it's goes to court. <laughs> that snipes someone. He's not wrong. It's like... I know. The game is, the game is like a clickbait thumbnail, but with like interaction it's an interactive clickbait thumbnail that's what the game you is know, I bet Leslie hates it because he got bodied by some 12 year old who proceeded to floss all over his corpse and he was I've, like this game's shit I've never played a third person shooter 
and liked it. I like, used to play I, Call I, of Duty exclusively in third person mode. Oh, that's just terrible. Why would you admit that? What about Gears of War? Okay, so Gears, of War, Gears of War gets a pass. Gears of War is the why, only Why is Gears gonna pass? Because it's not really a shooter as much as it is a strategy game. No, <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's because it's gritty. Okay. No, it's because you wall bang people, and I don't mean wall bang is in collateral damage. I mean wall bang is in using the terrible coding of that game to make your animation unhittable by going into and out of cover, but not actually cover, just touching the wall so that the game doesn't really know where you are, and then you shotgun one shot somebody. That's terrible. Yeah, I know. I didn't say the game was balanced or fair. I just said it was it got a pass. Yeah, there were mechanics in the game that were not okay. Sounds like that game was not okay. I, I mean, it was good for what it was, which was a fun Yeah, game. at the time. Yeah. Is it acceptable to play nowadays? No. <laughs> what no. game is this? Gears of War. Gears of War. Ah. Specifically the multiplayer. If you want to make a third person single player game, yeah, go for it. That's yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, considering I was coming off of like a PS2 before I got that game, you know? That was it was pretty good. Also, like it's like Michael Bay movies. It's, it's like it's okay to admit they're not good, but they're enjoyable. Hey. To that I have to say. Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal had some of the best multiplayer I've ever played. And that was a third person shooter. Never played it. Yeah, because you don't play fun games. Uh, I think that was because it was a PlayStation game. But also, I don't like Probably. platformers. I had fun playing Metal Arms on the GameCube. And the, Why do uh, I know that? Plus frame. It was a fun third person shooter. Oh. I miss Custom Robo. That's not the game I was thinking of. I miss Custom Robo a lot. Custom Robo. Another GameCube game. Oh, yeah. There were a lot of good GameCube games, though. Yeah, Honestly. it's almost like GameCube at the best uh, games of Nintendo's g console generations. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Star Fox Assault. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to say N64? No, Nint uh, Super Nintendo. Strong contender. Don't get me wrong. Strong contender if you like RPGs. But yeah. Yeah. Did you know that if Lewis you like turn based played... RPGs, then yes. Contra, Contra 3 was on Super Nintendo. Right. Did you know Donkey Lewis... Kong Country? Yeah, Donkey Kong Country. Lewis never you played know, Chrono Trigger. I, I can uh, acknowledge. I could see that. That makes sense. I, Chrono Trigger is a great game. I love Chrono Trigger. One of the best RPGs ever, ever made. Yep. I can acknowledge that Donkey Kong Country is one of the best platformers ever. Yeah. I can't get into it. I don't know why. Oh, really? It's the only platformer I actually like. Might be nostalgia, though. Like, Mega Man X is my shit. I love Ooh. the Mega Man X games. And Mega Man X. I played Man it the X. other day. At Mega Man X, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I should go fire that up soon. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah, but here's the thing about X, is that, like, X's jump from SNES to P PlayStation was so just... Inc stuck the landing. <laughs> yeah, and also mm. he's gonna give it to you. Remember uh, Mega Man 8, like right before they switched over to X? Yes. Well, no, that was actually way after they switched over to X. Oh, yeah. It was still really bad. <laughs> Wait, eight? We... It had balance problems. Who are we waiting on? It's like Mega Man was like a quarter of the screen. It was terrible. We, we went out it's... to take 10 and we're almost at 30. Light chest. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. I'm back. Uh, yeah, you are bad. I'm joking. You're you're a good person, and we value your presence. Uh, Did y'all see that cat that I posted? Lawful neutral person at best. Did y'all see that cat that I posted in chat? Is that your cat? Not my cat, but you might as well be. What does that mean? I'm fostering him. Little little devil cat. Yeah, he's he's the spawn of Satan. It's also terrified of Lycius. Good instincts. <laughs> I 
Shit, is that Meowdy? Uh-huh. Just scroll by without saying Meowdy? Just gonna scroll by without saying Meowdy? All also, right. like, just before we start, you should absolutely jump into the uh, Opera Discord just for the just for the free emojis. Opera Discord? Yeah, the Opera GX Discord. There's a Discord for the browser? Yeah. It's got so many just fantastic emojis. Huh. I just can't imagine joining a Discord for a browser. Yeah, well, I could imagine joining a Discord for these uh the, these emojis. Yeah, I have a couple of groups that are just I joined for the emojis and muted it forever. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even verify. Yeah, that's <laughs> what the uh that, that's what Nitro's really for, emojis. It's literally what Nitro's for. All right. Picking up. You guys are just standing out in the street, right? Yeah, we need to find a place to play low. We're gonna go beat up some people in a in a in a place of resting. Or we could see if we can just check in. How are you guys where are you guys going? I'm following Nihilus. I'm following Sophia. Sophia's Why following. Why are you following me? Sophia's you following Val. <laughs> We're walking in a circle. Um, I'm gonna point at the big tall building that uh, has the Eternal Party. All right. I guess I'll try and lead us there. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's within like, yeah, very fast. Is okay. your viable to walk a couple blocks? It's not a couple of blocks. It's like down the street. If you spit, if we you can, can see it. Yeah, if you could spit really well, you could probably hit it from where you are. Uh, I'm gonna try. I mean, you spit. Roll me a think, spit roll. Yeah, you spit and you think you might have roll. hit it, but when you get close, there's just too much spit to discern if any of it's yours. First of all, gross. <laughs> roll me a spit check. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. Uh, the place is raucous and, and quite lively. And as you enter, the there's like a general foyer, uh, which looks like at some point was rather ornate, uh, but not so much anymore. And there is a uh, young lady who's standing behind the counter who seems to be oblivious to the sheer amount of uh, chaos happening in this room. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I guess... I already drank at one place, might as well drink at another! Yeah, as you approach, uh, she's quite peppy, and she says, Welcome to Tower 1! Are you guys looking for a room? Yeah, we are. Oh, sorry. Uh, we don't have any rooms available. Uh, unfortunately, um, some of the uh, deep sea fishers have, have just gotten back and have decided to take all of our rooms. Hmm, how about a nice closet? So if we beat up the deep sea fishers, can we take their room? The rooms are paid for, so... Yeah. <laughs> that, that is what was heard. Yeah, okay. So you don't... You don't care. You got your money. Yeah, I mean... yeah. As long as the, the rooms are paid for, we don't really care who sleeps in them. Well, look, I'm, I'm surprised I'm the one saying this, but... I... I I need to calm down? Yeah. Can't solve everything oh, with violence. I understand. You guys are looking for coward accommodations. Uh, uh, <laughs> how have 
you know. There's like a mechanical, a mechanical whirring sound, very slowly. Excuse me. You if decided you to just... pass up on effectively free rooms, um, for less free rooms. Did you just say coward accommodations? Sophia sees the look in Val's eye and proceeds to swap her leg, her fake leg, with a peg leg. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Val's gonna stand up. Our ribbon board has been graciously paid for already. <sighs> I'll follow you, Captain. Win and build. Well, Commander, lead the way. I keep expecting someone to stop me. You're the captain. <laughs> but, but, but she's already put on the peg leg. <laughs> uh, Saki's gonna whisper to, to Corvo. I think Val's getting a little of the sea madness. <laughs> Still what? Something going on. Oh, nothing. Yeah. No, no, out of character. What'd you say? The sea madness. <sighs> Look, guys, it's just. Are we really going to let them get away with calling us cowards? We don't oh, got to kill anyone. Yeah, we don't got to no. kill anyone. We just, you know, knock them around a bit. Show them who's boss. Just beat a room out of the receptionist. Why would we do that? She's been perfectly pleasant to us. You hear a you hear a loud scream and then a thud from out one of the windows. And the little girl says, I think one of our rooms just became available. Oh, perfect. That works out for us much better. I guess it does, but someone's going to have to keep watch. I mean, two of us barely sleep. I mean, I'm the one that barely sleeps. Corvo doesn't. One of the men in the foyer runs outside real fast, uh, seeming quite uh, concerned about the sounds from outside. He must be new here. Should we go check on that? No, about we should go upstairs. Yeah. How, how much for the room that just became available? Oh, hey, it's already, it's already paid, paid for. for. Oh, well then. Let's go take it. Yep. Okay. So you guys are going up the stairs? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, we're not it's time to roll initiative. Y'all ready? Here, right? uh, as you begin your ascent, that guy comes back in the front door and says, Got a new watch! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I love nice this watch. watch. I think I love belt, guys. Saki grips her bag. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Saki. staying here, right? Right? I could. Yeah, you guys, you guys are going to climb some stairs. Uh, the stairs wind around the uh, inner parts of the tower. And there is always a room to the center of the tower, every floor, and there are occasionally rooms around the outside of the stairwell. Uh, every room that you guys pass by, there's something truly debased happening. Hey, I might like Beld less now. Uh, so we, we pick, we shame a kink and take the room. 
Wait, Which one are we here. shaming? Oh shit. What if we just find the room that's now empty? I I don't think it's completely empty. It's just less full. <sighs> All right, I'll follow you, Captain. I'm just looking for the room that was empty. Uh, give me a sense motive. Sense motive. Uh, Nihilus, Nihilus, you get how this works. The room is probably under new occupancy. Alright. So we look for the guys that aren't sailors. You mean the guys who stepped to deep sea fishers? Yeah. Hey guys, was that a deep sea hydra that we fought? No, it was a planar hydra. Wasn't it like actually like wasn't there? Are we not technically deep sea fishers? No. There's a difference between you know killing a monster and joining an organization. One, you have fun doing. The other involves paperwork. Ugh. On about the uh, sixth floor as you guys are going up, looking through these rooms, there is a quiet room with a single man asleep in the bed. Look at the room, look to Val... All right, Val's gonna knock on the door. Uh, you you are greeted with snore. It is an inner room, by the way, so it doesn't have a window. You know, it, the thing is that like he's in here alone. There's a lot of space in here. Heck, we could just pay him, and he might let us stay in here with him. Well, we were going to have a private conversation here about what we're going to do moving forward and not have that conversation, you know, out in the middle of the street where everyone can hear and potentially yeah, stab well, and rob us. Is he everyone? Apparently, you guys. You... Wait, wait. I, I've got an idea. What's up? Good. I'm going to knock on one of the other doors. Are you going to open it as they throw the axe? Uh, there isn't... I mean, are you knocking on, like, one of the closed doors or one of the open doors? Oh, I I'm... I'm going to get the attention of some of uh, some of the deep sea fishers. Uh, okay. Um, Hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, what's, what's the plan? Oh, I'm just going to point out that that guy over there just uh, chucked their uh, crewmate out the window and stole his room. That's an obvious there's, lie, though. There's no window. But it's the truth. There's No, no, it's not. The there's no window in that room. Oh. There is now. <laughs> I thought we were looking for the room that was recently reoccupied. All right, well, all in favor of waking up that guy and asking if we can stand there for a little while? We could just not wake him. Defenestrate him. <laughs> Val blinks and looks at Saki. Do what to him? <laughs> <laughs> you know, same thing happened to the other guy. You know, Saki, <laughs> we can't enlarge person inside here. We can't, or we shouldn't. We really shouldn't. Right, says you. Yeah, that's why you should Actually, stick with just long arm. Saki winks at Bell. I get it. 
You're right. We can't in here. She winks. Very obviously. Okay, out of character. This singular man sleeping in a room is clearly a pop plot point. I mean, we just don't need to wake him. True. <laughs> we could just, you know, close the door. We could just make sure he sleeps forever. Jesus, Saki! <laughs> <laughs> that was out of character. Val's gonna, like, walk inside the room and kind of indicate for you guys to follow. Yeah, I'll come in and just, just not wake him. Yeah, just not wake him. How do we know he's not listening? So we'll go ahead and close the door once everyone's in. Yeah, sure. You close All the right, door. Alright, game plan. Corvo, do you have any way to make sure... He makes the music quieter as the yeah, door's closed. <laughs> Corvo, can, can you make sure he sleeps? Uh, no. Not Leave the guy exactly. alone. He's done nothing wrong. He's just sleeping. Sucks. Probably pay for the room. So he's yeah, like, can you do a little murder? Yeah, yeah, he's done nothing wrong yet. Is there is there a, is there a closet? Just let's just do the rope trick in the closet routine. Yeah, we do can remember? do that. Mm -hmm. That's rope that's... trick in the closet. Sounds good to me. Uh, is there a closet? That only gets us six hours, though. It's not a closet, oh. but there is a, um, what do you call it? The thing. It's like a standing screen. Oh, screen. Wardrobe? Not a wardrobe. I'll just tie it off ah, under the bed. It's a thing to get dressed under. Or the divider? divider? Yeah. <gasps> Guess we'll get in the rope trick behind the divider. I'll find a discreet location and we'll do that. You know when we get out of that road trip, we're going to be surrounded, right? Don't worry, I'll watch him while he sleeps. So you're doing a rope trick? <clears throat> Loudly casts magic and wakes everybody up. <laughs> Start screaming magic. Uh, does it have herb? Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. TFM? What did you just say? What did you just call me? Got verbal, <laughs> somatic, and material components. Damn. -E <laughs> All right. So you, you're doing a rip trick then? Alright. Okay. Trick the rope. I, I did it. How much? How much space is in there? Eight creatures. Okay. You guys are less than eight creatures. And supports well, up to I, eight I tons. Be in there. You're not going in there. No. Okay. It sounds positively dreadful. I'm going in there. <laughs> so it's just going to be Corvo standing next to a floating rope in the room? Yeah. Oh, Staring watching, at the man. Watching a man sleep. In yes. a discreet location. <laughs> okay, so Corvo's standing behind a divider next to a floating rope. Just... One eye of his mask sticking out behind the uh, the divider, staring at him. No, it doesn't have to be the divider. That's the only thing in the room. Did, there's yeah, not, I... like, another bed? No, it's just one big bed up against what is considered the back wall. The wall. <laughs> the portion of the circular wall furthest away from the door. Uh, look, guys, it's, it's okay. Yeah. I probably won't even stay in the room. Gonna bail on us? Well, no. I'll be back. Just gonna go wander the town. He's got spy things to do. Razzie, you wanna Guys, watch it's okay. <laughs> he's gotta go. He's gotta go talk to Gorian. Yeah, 
Yes. <laughs> Just deadpan. So what's the plan inside yes. the rope trip? Have a discussion of what we're actually going to do. Hi, Banks. I guess I should be there for that. Yeah, that was the whole plan, to find a private location that's, no, not with any ears of the city to talk about all the stuff we were talking about. I mean, if we were going to rope trip, we probably could have done that in an alleyway, but... Yeah, but this is more fun. Yeah, but yeah. then some junkie comes underneath the road trick and starts shooting up where we all have to watch, and nobody wants that. I get enough of that at work. Oof. <laughs> Look, the things you see working down the street from the Black Friday store. Oh my god. Scare a man. You, you have hey, no idea. It used to be Spirit Halloween. Binks! Binks! I hear pain on my desk. Yeah. So what's okay. the, uh, going insane? What's the rip trick conversation like? So where are we going? Where are we going when we leave this town? Are well, we north getting seems a... to be the best bet. Open sea. Yeah, no, vetoed. <laughs> yeah, veto. veto. North seems to be the best bet, considering you know. It's probably where Drix was headed. We don't know the exact area, but I'm sure... Well, look. There were markers left all along the forest line. I'm pretty sure that Drix's group probably left more markers along the way. It's a good hunch. They probably popped through Bell, grabbed some supplies, and got the fuck out. If they did pop through Belt, they had to have gotten food. What was his favorite food? She narrows her eyes. Salad. This doesn't seem like a very salad-friendly place, does it? I'll narrow my <laughs> eyes further. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't, does it? Look, I'll admit it's possible that he went north, but it's only a possibility. All we know, I, I, I mean, I, why just... wouldn't he have gone north? After learning about the portals, why wouldn't he have gone north? What's this about portals? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd prefer not to get involved with a pirate ship. And get we don't have to get involved with a pirate ship. No one, where is this coming from? We can just leave Beld and go north. We're not. How many people do you think it takes to pilot a ship? Where is this stuff about boats coming from? There is land to the north of us. Well, because we can take our boat upstream faster than on foot. Okay, that's fair. Also, probably safer. Well, given the cruise. Okay, so let's assume that we decide to take a boat up north. Yeah, Work. because the last time we took a cart, it worked really great, but maybe we could try something different. Where are we even headed north? I mean, going north is a big direction. Yeah, do how many rations should we bring? How long do we expect to be up there? Look, what all I is... know is that it's somewhere in the mountains, okay? What's in the mountains? Val, you dug this one. <laughs> Ah, okay. Let's put it to you this way. Just as there are things that you can't talk about with us, there are things that I can't talk about with you, okay? And I happen to know that there's a certain area up north that I promise you when we get there, I will tell you all about that my brother would definitely be he headed to.
and I give promise me you something to work with. Why? Why do I need to give you anything to work with? Sorry, that was. I snapped there. That's my bad. You're right. You you got every. Like, do we have a general direction? Do we know uh, east of the east end of the mountains, west end, uh, it, under the mountain, on top of the mountain? Val's gonna scratch her head and uh, open up a little journal that she has. <laughs> Sophie's gonna open a big journal. <laughs> Uh, Leslie, would you mind presenting the big map? The big map. As Val will pull hers out. Um, I'll move you guys, but it doesn't, uh, do you any good. To be honest with you, it doesn't go that high up. Okay, so, all we know is this. It's far to the north, past the mountains, so I was mistaken in that regard. So yes, chartering a boat would probably be our best bet. Moving up towards this area over here, I would suppose. So we'd want to go downstream and out to sea. We'd follow the coastline for the most part. All we know is that it's past the mountains to the north. Hey, Razzy. What's up? You remember when you were asking me about the sea monster? I sure do. There it is. There it is? Yep. Oh, that, that's it right there? That's basically what it looked like. That's not like... That's what they hunt on a regular basis! Okay. That was just like an IRL map where it's just like, don't go here, it's dangerous. <laughs> I mean, Here yeah, be dragons. That's how Gorontine yeah. do it. Right, so we have the option to go north up the river, however far that takes us. We can go out to sea, and then north. Or we could charter a ship back to quarantine, resupply, and get our pay, and then come back north. Get our pay? Get our the pay. The job's not done. We're salaried? We are? I mean, it's not a lot, but yeah, you are. Every moment that we spend not chasing them down is a moment that they, that, well, could be their last. Look, I, I can't... How long ago did you get the letter? It was a while ago, okay? I'll admit that, but... If they've lasted that long, one week won't make a difference. One week? You really think it would take one week to get on a boat and go back to quarantine? And also, you really think anyone from Beld would be willing to charter a boat to quarantine? They'd be shot on sight. I mean... We there weren't. were plenty of privateers in quarantine. Yeah. I mean, you, you Not kinda, these kind. Kind of outed us as quarantine earlier to the privateers, but they didn't kill us. You know so, what? I'll make you a deal, Sophia. We're going to ask around, and we're going to get some information, and we're going to fill out some empty spots on this map. We'll see if anyone can give us any village locations, any city locations of places up to the north, okay? If we can't get any information, we'll go back to fucking quarantine. But it's like we got here, and we haven't even tried. Everyone just wants to give up automatically. And have you seen the place? It's How not exactly... trustworthy is information you pull out of the mouth 
of a passed out drunk. Okay, not everyone here is passed out and drunk. All you do is look for the negatives and things. This is a city full of seasoned adventurers. I just love the image of not everybody is a passed out drunk. And if you look from the bottom of the <laughs> from the rope trick, there's a passed out drunk on the bed. It's not mutually exclusive. Though. Some people are drunk, yeah. some people are passed out. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> there are seasoned oh. adventurers here. And yeah, a lot of them are drunk. They're pirates. It's what they do. They drink, they rape, they pillage. Yeah, don't know that sounds great. Great, great role Honestly. models. Yeah. No, they're not great role models. What makes you think I'm trying to get them as role models? I'm trying to ask them to fill out a fucking map for me. And why would they do that for you? Because we can pay them. When we ask, we tip our hand. We tell them we don't know shit. And they can put whatever the hell they want on our maps, take our money, and leave. And there's nothing we can do to prove them wrong. Well, we can ask a few people and get an average, see, to see what the most truthful story is. I hate this. I hate this. I hate traveling with all of you. I hate everyone second-guessing everything all the time. I hate how bullshit this has all become. I hate looking for my brother. I hate this stupid job. And I hate how cynical everyone's view of the world is. Okay. okay. If there's anything that could crush hope, it's traveling with you guys. Hey, I'm a very hopeful individual. Gestures at Razzie. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Razzie. Thanks for Thank being the only, the only one only. to find some optimism in this situation. Something to be kind of. I mean, we're having fun looking at the sea monsters. I said that there's some awesome things here. I'm just looking at the danger, considering I lived this in a smaller area. But still. Nihilus, you lived this. Yeah. And guess what? You're still alive. You didn't just live this, you lived through this. You want me to go into detail about why what you said is is just wrong? Do you know how hard it was to live through this? And what you're I had better to do? than that now. We're not all made of uh, rippling muscles and deep scars. No, uh, but we are made of smarter stuff. Come on, guys. And we have Sophia to is a... Sophia we have... is a... Go on. If we're made of smarter stuff, we have to slow down and think. On that, we have had a fairly slow month. Your version of slowing down and thinking is falling back with our tails between our legs. More like regrouping. It's not like yeah. we're quitting. We've done nothing but regroup for the past few weeks. Well, we've been trapped in a prison for the past few weeks. We weren't trapped in a prison. We were in a very cozy little hole that we got out of with relative ease. That, that feels like a very uh, charged portrayal of our prison. Look, was it a prison? Yeah. But did it really take all that much effort to get out? No. We asked the little girl to go pick some flowers and we got out. How fortunate for us. But perhaps there's a middle ground between that and staying in literal pirate town? I'm not I'm suggesting say... that we stay in literal pirate town. I'm suggesting that we gather some information from seasoned veterans of, of the, the, well, the sea. When I suggested going back to quarantine, I'm suggesting we charter a more trusted vessel from quarantine to head north. I don't know we can trust pirates to not just know. dump our bodies quarantine. in the ocean. You work for quarantine. Yeah, and did we ever know about Beld? No. If 
If there were actually people that chartered, that went to Beld frequently, then we'd have it on our maps. But what do we have on our maps? We've got us, we've got Agorian, and we've got West Crown. Because those are the only three areas that matter to quarantine. Areas of political control. Anything else doesn't fucking matter to them. And we don't need to know it. If they do have information, they're holding out on us. Have none of you looked at this map recently and seen how fucking barren it is? It's... Uh, boss, I don't mean to tell you, but, like, it's our job. Really? Because I thought our job was subterfuge and political espionage. That's the second part of the job. No, it's scouting and cartography. We had one job in Agorian. A scouting job in Agorian, even. And it seems like everything keeps coming back to that for some reason. Well, that is the, the place where things went belly up for us the first time around. And again, I want to reiterate, why are those the only three spots on the map if there have been generations of people before us that were doing this job? I mean, it's a fair question. Looks to Sophia. We're not going to get answers for that hmm. here. And don't bother looking to Sophia Razzi because she can't tell you. Damn it, my one out. One out. Well, let her roll her intelligence check. No, I mean, she literally can't tell you. Tell you what? What is the question? Why... Why? Hasn't the map been mapped by previous cartographers? I can think of a few reasons. I, I mean... can think of why Beld wouldn't be mapped. One, it's not protected by uh, a deity or a guardian, so there's no telling when it's going to just become a, a wasteland. It's also all privateers. So there's a good chance that uh, they wouldn't tell anyone they were in contact with where they docked. Hey, uh, quick question about that. We're outsiders, right? All of us? <laughs> Clearly not from around here. Everyone recognizes that we're outsiders. Um, if these people were half as suspicious as you say they are, why aren't we being hung from the gallows right now? Because we haven't done something to piss someone off yet. Exactly. These people don't care who knows that they're here. If an army were to show up, these people would all fire their guns at once and tell them to fuck off. Yeah, even portals are pretty scared to pop up here. Exactly! Whatever was in that rift before took one look inside the bar and said, Fuck that, I'm good. These people don't care about our politics. Why isn't this place mapped? And you can't tell me that our cartographers, as skilled as they are, just haven't run across it. I mean, it is a dangerous wasteland out there. Isn't that what we're say. literally paid to do? Yeah, for after so long, I feel like someone would have come across this. Essential, essentially, what is a metropolis in the wasteland? How was your first reaction to this place not, how did we not know about this? I don't want to go back to quarantine because I don't trust quarantine. And the information that we've gotten over the past few weeks, I honestly think they'd kill us over. Hmm. She once again produces the letter. I wasn't supposed to know about this. None of you were supposed to know about the village. But we were looking for it. Maybe not us, but Quarantine was looking for it. And they were keeping it under wraps that they were looking for it.
to what? We just go rogue? Go off on our own? Have our own adventure? No. We stay on mission. We find my brother and his crew, and we get the answers from them, the people who have been working this job the longest. And then, when we have a proper, well, <laughs> understanding of what we're doing, then we go back and report the details. We know, not... we know that my brother and his crew went through the village, okay? And we also know that we weren't tasked with finding the crew. We were tasked with finding their chronicler. Now, I wonder why that could be. Because they've been missing for so long that, we're, that the job assumes they're dead. We're looking for a book, not a person. And don't you think that's a bit of a problem? You know, for an organization that's supposed to be as focused on the good and the light and all that as we are, we sure do some shady shit sometimes. Well, I'm all for taking a boat up north. Just not here. And that's fair. Don't get me wrong, I get it. You guys want to traipse our way back to West Crown and try it? Fine. I personally don't mind asking, asking the privateers for, for help on this one. They're looking for strong hands, and we're the strongest they've seen in a while, probably. I'm if they don't think that we're strong, we can prove it. If there's one uh, thing that we know that we're good at, it's kicking ass. I think you're probably going to find the most uh, experienced and ready sailors here for anything we're going to meet going north. Question! Question! Who rolled for Magnamar? What? I oh, did. So be it. And you know that Magnamar is super far north. Yeah. I can, I can actually roll for Magnamar too. I forgot I took a rank of knowledge geography. Which means that crew has been that far north. They're also likely not looking for uh, weekend warriors. They're likely looking for several year long commitment to the crew. Why the hell not? It could be fun. Wouldn't that just take us off task of uh, finding your brother? Is, isn't this like the entire point of the, the for range? years? No, 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 no. You misunderstand. I don't mean why the hell wouldn't they want some weekend warriors? It could be fun for them. These people are not burdened by the same ideas that we have. They don't have the same idea of honor or a code of duty like we do. <laughs> duty. Yeah, or any for that matter. They do what makes what's fun to them. They do what makes them happy. Yeah, that sounds if our, wildly reckless and dangerous. If our adventure, if our journey can strike the fire in some of these guys, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty they'd be sure. happy to take us up north. And let's not prejudge everyone. I'm sure there are some fine people amongst these groups. Let's not go that far, Razzie. Hey, be optimistic. And I do appreciate that. But I mean, come on. We saw a guy get stabbed as soon as we walked in. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the point is, is that we can't hold these people to the so. same standards that we're used to. All right. Well, whatever our decision is, Saki, can you just make sure that the commander doesn't get me shanghaied? Yeah. I'm... I'm looking out for that. And whatever happens, my contract will remain the same. Val's doing an awful lot of asking for someone whose final yes. decision is in her hands. Yeah, during, during all of this, Sire has reassured you many times that all of the awful things that have been listed, if any of them happen, our relationship will remain the same. 
Oh, I totally assumed he was telling me that the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, he's I'm getting when Val is like whiplash between Val suggesting we follow the mission and Val outright suggesting treason. <laughs> yeah. Follow like, the mission, but also pirates question. But mark? also pirates, but also follow the mission, but also we can't trust any of them. No, no, no. That was my favorite. The I don't know if the, what was it? She says it along the lines of like the quarantine might kill us for knowing this stuff. And then that was when I was like, oh, Sire's got to be in this, telling Nihilus, you know, hey, if your home government kills you, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> just so it's clear. Yeah. Uh, so are you guys trying to sleep on a rope trick? Is that what's happening? I think well, it's only going to last like five more hours. I, I will not be sleeping in the rope trick now. You don't sleep. Yes. This is probably a great place to call it for the night. <laughs> I'm going to go for a walk. What about Sophia? What are you doing? Uh, Yeah, I'll I'll stay in the rope trick as long as possible. Okay. Sophia about to contact the big brass and be like, Valio is threatening treason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, like, I, I still need to... If I'm gonna hold up our end of the deal with the with the guardian, we need to visit home, even if it's briefly. Even though they might kill us. Not Why would, would they, they kill, kill us? us? <laughs> okay. Oh, you naive soul. Hey, we we made it out of the village that you guys were interested in. Here's information about it, and also, don't send other crews there. It's not like we're employed by, like, the Pathfinder. And Torgatine goes, we might. Thanks for confirming to us that it exists. They also, and hear me out on this one, might not. Yeah. Maybe, Boss, just maybe, the people that worship lawful right good now. deities are actually... Potentially good. Like, I'll give you. We we we've done some kind of shady stuff, especially with the Agorian. But that was Agorian. We've done some shady stuff, but also pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all I want to say is this: people have long since used gods as an excuse to do shitty things and vie for control. People yeah. don't change. Yeah, but also the shitty things we were doing were against Agorian, you know, the town of demons. Yeah. Also, they weren't rape. <laughs> no one is saying that we join a pirate crew. Literally, literally just said it. No, that is not what I said. I said we asked them to charter us. You never said those words. I literally did. No, don't mean you to get metatextual again. Their check the odds. Yeah. Uh, so get in the comments. <laughs> get in the comments. Uh, get in the comments. <laughs> so <laughs> pro I'm probably about to kill off old Shrimo because it is uh, a bit late. But right before I kill off old Shrimo, uh, Sophia. Yes. Your chronicle's going. Was that the D20 from earlier? Yeah. Elaborate? What but but I, I should have noticed before now. How, were you referring to the chronicle before now? Periodic, yes, like I, I, I assume that I'm periodically writing things down, oh, like I all you the write time. Down whenever you stop. Oh, we have a fun side quest next week. <laughs> <laughs> Kill off old 